This is her story, the story of Hawa Abdi, but her story is too inspiring to be contained in just one 10 second reel. I am doing the artist 100 heads challenge with a twist. I put a challenge on the challenge. Each head is of a different inspirational black woman. Hawa Abdi is Somali's first woman gynecologist. After studying in Ukraine on a scholarship, she returned home and opened a small clinic. At only 11 years old, Hawa's mother died giving birth to her seventh child. Now Hawa could help save women just like her mother with the knowledge she's attained. I was only in middle school orchestra class myself when I was 11. It was then that I met my best friend and first Muslim practicing person, Naima. With her violin in hand and I with my viola, Naima said, Hey, I noticed you're another black girl in orchestra. Wanna be friends? I was really excited. From that day on, we laughed and laughed our way through school. In 1988, the government of Somali collapsed, leaving the people without any safety from law or order. Now the once peaceful land was controlled by gangs and warlords. One by one, people moved into Hawa's clinic. Once there was no more room inside, people started living under the trees. In just 20 years, Hawa's small clinic became a village of over 90,000 people. There is organic food grown on site, solar power electricity, multiple wells, and access to clean water. Hawa, a Muslim, a woman was in charge and she basically governed this village on simple rules. Her camp tolerates no spousal abuse and locks up offenders. The hospital services everyone regardless of clan or tribe. If anyone dared to group up as their former tribe, they would be kicked out immediately. If anyone even identified by their tribes, they would be kicked out as well. Here, everyone is the same and equal. Somali. Everyone was family. All 90,000 people became my family, said Hawa. I think this was a genius move. Although Naima is a Muslim and I a Christian, we don't let our faith come between us. Rather, we identify the things we have in common. We're both American, both in orchestra, both girls, and we're both beautifully melanated. We're friends. How a small clinic became a 400 bed hospital, and she and her two daughters saw over 500 patients a day. Compared to the surrounding chaos in Somalia, the camp was a haven and an affront to the Islamist movement. Soon young warlords carrying AK-47s came to take control of the hospital and camp. 750 gunmen surrounded the camp and held Hawa captive in her own home. The men confronted her. You are old and you are a woman. You cannot be in control of this camp. Dr. Hawa confronted them back. Kill me first before you kill my patients. I may be a woman, but I have worked for this country for 20 years. What have you done? When refugee women rose to protect her by the thousands, the militia stood down. Hearing the story so far makes me ask special questions. Is the name tribe or religion you choose to identify as the key to following God? Christians like the slave traders of America's past or Islamists like the Somalian warlords chose to destroy lives and hurt. A Christian like Mother Teresa or a Muslim like Dr. Hawa Abdi chose to save lives and heal. Who is really serving their God? Does God accept the Christian who does evil? Will God not accept the Muslim who follows righteousness and goodness and despises evil? Choosing what women of history to paint comes to me in a variety of ways. Sometimes I want to paint a surgeon, so I'll search surgeons like Patricia Bath. Sometimes I happen upon an amazing person by chance and decide to paint them like Madam C.J. Walker, or maybe it's someone who has been an inspiration to me personally, like Ella Fitzgerald or Citrona Truth. As for how I deliberately wanted to paint a Muslim woman, a woman who is an inspiration to God-fearing communities, 
to black communities, to the female community and our entire race. I'll end with a quote from Dr. Hawa. I think that women can change the world in a better way now if they get self-confidence and they know how they are powerful to do something. They can do it.